welcome to my channel and today's video. Today I'm finally sharing um, a unit study from Barefoot Within the Trees. If you aren't familiar with Barefoot in the Trees, I talked about their units um, during the holiday season. They had a Halloween unit come out and a Christmas unit come out that we used. And they have tons of other units. Um, and one of the fav my favorite units that they have is their Harry Potter literature guide units. So last year they released uh, the literature guide for book one, uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and they just released the literature guide for book two, The Chamber of Secrets. Talking about kind of both um, and sharing, you know, how they're designed to work together. So don't feel like you're gonna be like buying all these things for multiple units. Um, obviously you need the different books, but they're meant to work together. So I'm gonna be showing you that. Um, it's truly a magical unit study. Uh, Jenny, who is the creator and owner of Barefoot Within the Trees, you can tell has a love of Harry Potter um, and really captures that magical, I think that a lot, that magicness, if that's even a word, <laughs> that um, draws so many people to it. So I know my kids uh, lit up when they saw it and have really enjoyed it. And so I'm excited to share this unit study with you guys. If you guys haven't heard of Barefoot Within the Trees, uh, go check out their site. I am a brand rep for them. So down below, I do have um, a link and then you can use my my discount code gathered 20 to get 20% off any of their unit studies. Their units are digital. So when you purchase them, you're going to get uh, it emailed to you or you'll be able to download it digitally. Uh, I have finally upgraded my printer and so it works out great for me. I can print everything, but you can also uh, pick and choose what you print if you need to be a little bit more cautious with how much you print or uh, you can send it off to a print company. My favorite print company and the only print company I recommend is Watson Family Press. I will link them down below as well. Because we've already had um, the Sorcerer's Stone one, I've already printed it, I uh, used my ProClick and so I have that one. And then because this one just released, uh, The Chamber of Secrets, that one's just printed. I haven't put it together yet. Now there's two parts of these unit studies. One is kind of like the guide for you. It goes through, okay, like what are the lessons gonna be um, after you read these chapters? Like here's some activities and discussion questions. So that, I mean, honestly, you don't need to print out. You could keep that on your phone or your iPad. Um, it's up to you. And then, so separate from that are like the student pages. Now the student pages are obviously things that the kids are gonna complete, but they're broken up into like really fun like themes um, that your kids are going to add to through all of these literature guides. So um, do not bind the student pages because uh, literature guide after literature guide, you're gonna wanna add to them. So we're using a binder. Uh, binders just work good for us. Um, you could use different like notebook type things, but the binder is what is easiest for my kids to take things in and out of. So to give you some examples, um, this is potions and alchemy. So this like, page uh, is used through all the literature guides and all future literature guides. So this would be like a section in their binder and then they would have uh, assignments that go behind this. So um, that's why you don't want to bind it because they're gonna constantly be adding to this. They have herbology, will skill, which is handwriting practice, either print or cursive. Jenny gives both options in this. Magi zoology, which um, I could be pronouncing wrong, but obviously the study of magical animals or bees. So I know we're really excited for this one. Uh, this is supposed to obviously be at the beginning, my wizard journey. So you could put this in the front of the binder and just have a dedicated Harry Potter binder if you know you're going to be going through all of these. It's going to take quite some time. These books are not quick reads. All right. So those are like your main topics. So when you're going through your lessons, it will say, okay, today is potions class and you're going to do an assignment and it would go in that section of your kid's binder. So there is a little bit of like pre-prep in setting all this up, uh, but once you have it done, the additional literature guides are going to be super easy to add on. Uh, right now I'm focusing on the stuff that came in the first literature guide. Um, and then I'll show you specifically some of the stuff from the second literature guide. And two, um, the second literature guide had some enhancements that are also going to be added to 
the first literature guide. So as I'm making those videos, they're getting updated. And by the time this video posts, I believe they'll be updated. Um, if you're introducing this to your kids, there are some fun like little additions. So there's a letter welcoming you to the school of wizards and witchcraft of witchcraft and wizardy. So this is really fun that you can kind of fold up, maybe have like a magical feast to breakfast the morning that they start it. And then um, you get like a little ticket to platform three, four, and there's some other cute stuff I'll show you as well. Um, as far as like the actual literature guide, this is what you could um, bind if you wanted to. This is just like lesson by lesson, all of the things. And so the first one is the book list. So this is uh, the guide one's book list. Now she does have it recommended to use the illustrated Harry Potter books which we got and they're beautiful and amazing and they are definitely worth it. If you're a Harry Potter fan, um, I highly recommend them. So, but you could just, if you already have the collection of books, you could just use a standard one as well. Um, so obviously you need the book. Um, I like my kids to have their own copies of the book to read. Uh, and then most of the time we listen to the audio version of it. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, now these books, um, she tried to keep them the same throughout the literature guide. So if you get them, you're not buying new books every time they're going to be used across. So in this one specifically, um, like the, who is JK Rowling? That's because there's kind of an author, um, lesson biography on her. Now, um, you can do that. You cannot do that. It's kind of up to you. And so that one's not used, um, to my knowledge throughout all of them. It's kind of in this one only. And then I do believe that this one, a natural history of magic is not used in the next unit study. Uh, but the other one, so the kids herb book, fantastic beast, the science book and wizards workshop are used and they're references for different lessons. So you have a couple options here. Um, some of these were not super easy for me to find on like Amazon. Uh, but you can always look on used bookstores like thrift books, um, even Amazon, people resell stuff on there. Your library, um, check them out, you know, kind of look ahead a few lessons, like which ones, like I know one of these, you don't use it for the first few lessons, so you don't need it right away. Um, so kind of plan ahead that way. Um, also, I was able to find all of these um, as, I don't want to, they're like ebooks, not audiobooks, ebooks. So through our library, we get access to ebooks, audiobooks, and so um, a lot of these I was actually able to find as an ebook. And what that means is just an ebook online. So when we needed to reference it, I could just pull it up on the computer. So um, if you're, you know, looking for creative ways how to find the books instead of just buying them all, there's definitely resources out there. Look for ebooks audiobooks, used books, uh, YouTube videos on the book. So keep that um, in mind as like kind of a tool. But if you decide to buy like the Fantastic Beast book, it's going to be used throughout the different units. So you'll get your use out of it and you'll need to reference it a lot. So those are the book lists. And then this is how the first unit study is set up. So chapter one, read chapter one, do a companion read aloud. So that's one of those recommended books. Here's some discussion questions, some vocabulary. Um, oh, I didn't even show you guys yet. The map part of it. So uh, your kid gets to create a Harry Potter map. So you print this out and then you tape the two pages together so it's kind of bigger. And then you're going to map different Harry Potter things on this. Um, and then it folds up super easy, put it in that binder uh, and that's, you know, perfect. So uh, this one is saying add a 411 privet drive to your map. This is Dursley's and Harry's home. So you'll have little notes like that. And then in this lesson, um, you're doing art and handwork. So this is saying to do some watercoloring. Um, this one has you um, optional. You don't have to do all these things. They're just ideas. If you're wanting to add in art, you can get those like little peg dolls, the wooden ones, um, and make the character. So if you think your kids would really enjoy that, um, there's notes for you to do that through all of the units. Um, this one, so it's quoting a sherbet lemon. Um, so like a candy in Harry Potter and it says to get some lemon flavored candies. So just things to really like bring it to life for your kids. Now, 
they're just hints like this is a guide so it's guiding you through these chapters some fun activities um just you know i recommend reading through it first because like if we just started this and we did that i don't just have lemon candies laying around so that's something i would need to be prepared for so i do recommend reading through the lessons first making yourself like okay we are going to do that activity what do we need all of that stuff and chapter two as you can see it kind of follows that same format and this one um it says make a knickerbocker glory with this is actually like a treat um and those you do get in the back you get like an activity guide and you get recipes so uh, here's a Knickerbocker Glory and it has all the ingredients and stuff. If you're used to how her unit studies were for Halloween and for Christmas, you're going to have no issues. But you definitely want to be prepared because you don't want to miss out on these fun activities because they go perfectly well uh, as you're reading and it's just going to make the experience more magical for your kids. All right, I'm going to show you one more example, but I think you're getting the gist of how the chapters work. So again, we're reading, we're doing discussion questions, there's art. Uh, this one, you're making your own wizard wand. And then down here, you're adding Diagon Alley to your map. You're doing potions and alchemy. Um, so this one is, again, it's pointing you to a another book to do stuff. Um, here's some different uh, coins that you can learn. There's even, I think, a link to buy these coins off Amazon, which again, just enhances it a little bit. Now, when it has those notes, like, okay, we're doing potions class or herbology class, these are additional um, things you're gonna be printing out that will go in your student's uh, like binder, okay? So this is like for herbology. And so um, I know one lesson you learn about cinnamon. And so you would have your child draw a picture of cinnamon, um, Latin name, parts use, medicinal use, culinary use, and facts. They're gonna have these as reference. And these are real things. Cinnamon is real. So they're learning real things, but mixed in with this mythical, um, you know, engaging curriculum. So you'll have these as well for the beast, the fantastic beast. Um, you know, you're gonna draw a picture and learn about them all. And then when they're doing different like experiments, um, they kind of will write down what happened and all of that as well. Um, one thing I forgot to share, just cause I've used this unit, I'm kind of used to it. Um, it does include kind of preparation and guides. So like what is copy work? Um, what are vocabulary words? The map making herbology. So you have like a little, you know, glimpse of what everything's going to be. Um, there is something called a main lesson book um, where uh, she recommends having kind of like this blank notebook type thing where your kids are going to be notebooking what they read um, to kind of recall things. Um, they will create a, men a main lesson page for every chapter or lesson that they complete. They will illustrate what they read on page one and write it out on the other. We like to use stock mark block crayons for adding borders around our pages. You can watercolor crayons, pencils, all of that um, and then she does include an example of uh, main lesson books it's just a collection so kids can reference back to them refer to it and all of that so um if you're like oh my gosh there's so much stuff there is and it's amazing but she lays out how it all should be used for you um, i'm just going to quickly flip through some of the recipes and activities so i can move on to the next unit so that is kind of a summary of how they work and function, but there's so many fun add-ons, activities, recipes, crafts that you guys, it, it's a really fun unit. Now I'm gonna move on to the second book and um, it's set up similarly, but there have been some additions. Now, what I will tell you, I have bought lots of unit studies. If you've been around my channel, you know that. I buy lots of things. For the amount of stuff you get in these unit studies and how beautiful it's done and the extra stuff um, for the price is really insane. So um, before I show you the next one, just so you know, these are $8 each. So everything I just showed you, you get that plus more because I did not show you everything uh, is $8 plus you can use my discount code to get 20% off. I mean, it's an amazing deal. So 
if you're looking, if you've been wanting to read Harry Potter with your kids and you've been wanting kind of a guide to go along with it, this is perfect. You're going to absolutely love it. So let's move on to uh, the second one. This is obviously the second book, Chamber of Secrets. We already talked about the book list. So if you already had all those books, you would just want to get uh, obviously Chamber of Secrets because that's what you're going to be reading. Oh, here we go. So this one I printed out recently, so I have it all nice and organized. These are examples of what I was talking about, uh, the main lesson book. So as you can see, you draw pictures and write like a summary. So this is something that you can do as like a journal for your kids um, if you want to. And a new addition um, and something that makes my heart happy because I am a crazy planner um, and I didn't actually make planners for the other unit studies when we were using them. Um, this is kind of a fun little weekly planner that you can make multiple copies of. It says, okay, what book are we reading? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What are we reading? Are we doing writing and vocabulary? What activities? Any additional YouTube videos and extra wizard school things. So this is what I mean when I say you need to go through and plan. She created a planning sheet for you. I don't know if this will be added into uh, the first literature guide, uh, but I will ask um, if you guys are interested. So this is something that I will do. I will go through the week of lessons that we're gonna do. We may only do one lesson a week. We may do two, we may do three. Who knows, but I'll go through this and map it out the week before so I can be prepared for activities, lessons, all of those things you get a nice little welcome to your second year so kids know that they're you know advancing through their hogwarts school um in here same thing chapter one read discussion questions i do notice that the discussion questions now have like answers in red attached so for us moms that makes it a lot easier this has quill skill which i'll show you because i didn't show you that in the last one um and then again art and handwork so set up very similarly so it's not like you're going to get into this one and it's going to be completely different so um this is what i forgot to show you in the first one this is their quill skill class um where there's either print font or cursive font and it's different passages from the reading and so it's kind of reinforcing that so they can practice by outlining print or cursive and then at the bottom they can rewrite it too so i know i have um, actually, both of my daughters now are learning cursive. Obviously, one is much more advanced, uh, so she could totally do the rewriting in cursive. And then my younger daughter, who's still learning, could just trace. So these pages are for every lesson, and they would go um, with uh, their quill skill in their binder. Now, something new that was released with the second book, Literature Guide, uh, but it's also being added to the first book, are chapter reviews. And so this is a new section that would go in your student's binder. These are little review sheets for each chapter, which I absolutely love. The discussion questions are great, but to have just kind of an overall review um, is great. So each chapter gets its own. Um, this one has like a vocabulary word, write it, draw it, definition, use it in a sentence, synonyms. So this is really bringing like language arts to it. And then the second page, uh, there's a fun little maze. There's a discussion question and then there's a beginning, middle and end. So something we started, we did in one of our recent um, unit studies, a reading unit study was every time my kids read a chapter, they had to write something down. They had to write, we'll just say like a general overview of that chapter and some character traits in that chapter. So doing that every time really um, was cool seeing it at the end. So I really like this. What happened in the beginning of the chapter? What happened in the middle? What happened in the end? It's not a lot. It's quick little things for them to jot down. Um, so I really, really like this. So um, as I'm filming this video, I know that Jenny is literally making the ones for uh, the literature guide one. So um, we'll be getting those as soon as they come out and adding them um, into our student binders as another section. So that is super exciting. But again, it doesn't take away from what was already created, the already the lesson guides. Um, but then in true fashion, there's recipes and crafts for the second book. These little Cornish pixie lanterns, I'm so excited for. Uh, so we'll make those. You make like a fang out of clay. 
you have um, some of the cutouts you need. So everything is provided for you. This is a uh, treckle toffee recipe. Easy jelly donuts. This is Hagrid's eggnog. I think this is in the first lesson too. I, I don't think I showed this one, but it's a Venn diagram um, because you do watch the movie or it is a part of the unit to watch the movies. So what is the differences between the book and movie and what is the same? You get little movie uh, tickets. So that is super cute for your kids. Uh, there's instructions how to make a howler letter, which I think is super cute. Um, if you're not following uh, Barefoot Within the Trees on Instagram, she actually showed this made and it was super cute. And then there are vocabulary words. So all of those vocabulary words, um, you do actually get printouts and you can make little flashcards of them as well. So in these literature guides, um, it really keeps the magic of Harry Potter, but it brings in a bunch of different things so you as a homeschool parent feel like you're actually accomplishing something. There's uh, language arts material such as vocabulary, handwriting, there's science for studying herbology, uh, doing experiments, obviously reading and comprehension. Um, it's just overall a great addition. Um, these books are you know they're not I feel like old enough to be called classics but if you they're great books. Uh, most kids enjoy reading them. Uh, they're written very well. And if your kids have never read them and only watched the movies, then they're missing out because they're the books are much different than the movies. So if you guys are interested in these Harry Potter unit guide or literature guides, don't forget uh, you can use my code gather20 for 20% off. The link is down below. I know we are anxiously awaiting all of them because uh, the plans are that there will be a literature guide for each of the books. So uh, we'll probably only read one of the books per school year. So we have a long way to go, but I'm glad we have a really fun literature guides to add on. If you guys have any questions about these literature guides, leave them down below in the comments and I will chat with you guys soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.